I was, um, this important fact that uh, Council Member Jack Weiss is in the opposition of this, and uh, that means we're halfway home. So for all of you that live in Council District 2, it's a great opportunity to drop Wendy Gruel or talk with Pat Davenport or even Dale Thrush, her planning deputy. Dale's here tonight. And uh, just tell me what you think about this. 750 feet means homes that are currently single family but maybe have been down zone, meaning um, they're in areas where there's multiple housing. With the creation of developers allow being allowed to apply for density bonuses, meaning that they'll agree to build more units, affordable rates. If this that means they're going to affect single family residences. That's my point. So just to give you just the visualization here, just think of all the major streets in Ventura Boulevard that have apartment buildings. Just start thinking about when you drive down Moore Park and what's happening with the one and two story buildings. Now they're being torn down and condominium complexes, four stories tall, four times the amount of units there. Just imagine what would happen if those new buildings being erected under this law, if it passes, are allowed to have even more units because they can apply for the bonuses if they choose to build affordable housing, but yet they don't have to provide half as much parking as they do now. And already, for many of us, it's always been questionable if there's ever been sufficient parking for large-scale developments. So naturally, this is going to be a very interesting situation, and please follow it. Please think about letting Wendy know. She's very responsive. She wants to hear from you what you think about it. And like I said, we're halfway home in Sherman Oaks because Jack stood up and said, no, I don't think this is going to fly. All right, thank you again.